All right, so let's look at some examples of these circle problems. We've already done 52, so let's take a look at 54 and then 56. In 54, they tell us what the center of the circle is, and they also tell us a point on the circle. So the center, that's part of the standard form of a circle. This tells us what H and K are. The problem is we still don't know what R is. So in order to answer this question, we need to find the value for R. What do we have so far? Well, we have H and K. So we're supposed to leave X as a variable and Y as a variable, just like in a line. But the problem is we should know, or at least once we've answered this question, we will know what R is. But we don't at the moment, so we're going to leave it as a variable for now. Well, we can do a little simplification because minus a minus 4 is simply plus 4. Now, by passing through, it tells us that if we plug in minus 1 for x and 5 for y, this equation should be true. Just like in, a, in the case of a line, if you plug in a point on the line, the x-coordinate and y-coordinate for a point on the line, the left and right-hand side should be equal. So let's see what we do if we get that. So let's use the point minus 1, 5 by plugging minus 1 in for x and 5 in for y. Let's start out that way and see what we get. Minus 1 minus 3 is a minus 4. Square both, square that. 5 and 4 is 9. Still can't do anything with this r squared. Minus 4 times minus 4 is a plus 16. 9 squared is 81. So this is 97. Hmm. Well, that's nice. If we take square roots of both sides, then it looks like we'll be able to find out what R is. So if we take square roots, and being strict here, whenever we take square roots, we have plus or minus on both sides. But the problem is this is the radius of a circle, and the radius of a circle is never negative. So... The only answer here is that r, the radius, has to be the square root of 97. So we've done it. We now know what r is. We can write the equation of a circle. This isn't our answer. Our answer is the equation of the circle. y minus, or excuse me, x minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared and before we had just r squared when we didn't know what r is but now we do r is square root of 97 and we're squaring this well squaring a square root is quite simple it's just what's inside the square root So that is our answer. And again, since our answer should be infinitely many points, that when you look at them together, they form a circle, if I'm supposed to have infinitely many points, the easiest way to represent that is just with an equation, such that 
every point on the circle, when you plug in its x-coordinate and y-coordinate, gives an equation where the left and right hand sides are equal, gives an equation which is true. So let's take a look at 56 on the same page. 56 says that the circle has a diameter with endpoints being 7, 4, so 7, 4, and the point minus 3, 6. So here, you know, 7, 4, and then minus 3, 6 is far to the left and a little bit up. And we're saying that this is the diameter. So if you forgive my crappy drawing, what we have here, a diameter is a special line because the diameter has to pass through the center of the circle. And it looks like the center is going to be the midpoint between these two points, which is good because in order to get the equation of a circle, we need to have the radius of the circle and we need to have the center of the circle. And at the moment, we don't have anything. But it looks like we can get the center because the center is going to be the midpoint between these two. So let's find that. So the point H, K, the center, should be the midpoint is averaging the x's, so minus 3 plus 7 over 2, then average the y's, 6 plus 4 over 2. So that's 4 over 2 and 10 over 2, so this is the point 2, 5. So we have the center. Great. That's halfway there. The only other thing we need to get an equation that looks a little like this is the radius. We need a number on this right hand side. Now the radius is just the distance from the center to any point on the circle. So the radius is the distance from the center to 5 to, now, I have two points on the end. And you could choose either one. You'll come out with the same answer. The work will look a little bit different, but you should come out with the same answer. We could take the distance from the center to the point minus 3, 6 or we could take the distance from the center to the point 7, 4. Let's do 7, 4, because if we do that, we don't have to worry about any negatives or anything like that, you know, any two negatives or something like that getting in the way. So remember, distance is square root of x1 minus x2, 2 minus 7, plus y1 minus y2, or y2 minus y1, it doesn't matter. Oops, no y's, I've got numbers here. Got a very nice case. All right, let's work it out. Minus five squared, five minus four is one. I'm gonna square that. So this is 25 plus 1, 
which is 26. So if r is the square root of 26, then let's go ahead and go to the next page. Using our formula for the standard form of a circle, we know h and k, that's the center. And the center was 2, 5. So this will be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared. And r, we found r to be the square root of 26. So this will be the square root of 26 squared. And squaring a square root is nice because it just gives us what's inside. And that's it. We filled in for the center. We filled in for the radius. X and Y are supposed to be variables. So that's the equation of the circle.